Hey, I'm Janae Ledoux, getting crafty with you again with a Reconstruct DVD bonus project. I'm making this very cool clock from Computer Castoffs, a project shared with us by Joe Oliveri of GeekGearStore.com. I'm going to start with the clock face because that involves gluing and I want it to dry. It's made with an old CD and tiny little circuit boards in place of numbers. And for the circuit board, I'm taking an ink cartridge, which is recyclable, so I always keep these. But before I take it to the office center, I'm gonna pry off this tiny little circuit board. And there's really no art to it. Just take your hardcore utility knife, stick the blade under there, and wiggle and pry till it pops off. And I have a few that I did already. So, a quick way to mark the points for the numbers on your CD is to put it into the crosshairs of a self-healing mat and mark the points with a marker, like this. Okay, and now I'm going to glue on the four tiny circuit boards with a two-part epoxy that's recommended for plastic. Not all glues work for plastic. So be sure that you read the directions and that you're using the right glue. I'm working on a disposable plate, which I don't usually recommend because they're not necessarily eco-friendly. So just use the plate as many times as you can. Okay. And you mix the two parts together with a toothpick. And then you can also use the toothpick to put the glue onto your little guys. Just slather it on like frosting. And put it onto the dots that you marked. Okay, gonna do another one. All right, like that. I have another clock base that I finished ahead of time, so I'm gonna put this one away for now. And now we're gonna talk about the background, which is an old circuit board. I got this one out of an old laptop, and I got this one out of an old printer. And you never really know what you're gonna get until you crack them open. I mean, this one's nice and symmetrical. This one's more of an L shape. So I'm gonna use this one as a wall clock, and you know, that one works really well as a desk clock. When you're harvesting electronics, um, you might need a special tool. A lot of them have uh, six-pointed star-shaped screws, and for that you'll need the coordinating screwdriver. So once you've harvested your circuit board, like so, the first thing you want to do is decide where you want the center of your clock and drill a hole. And that needs to be wide enough to accommodate the shaft of your clock movement, which looks like this. And that's something that you can buy at any craft or hardware store. My shaft is 5 16 inch diameter, so that's the size bit I used. And then flip it over and see if there's anything big that's going to get in your way. There's a lot of business usually on the back of circuit boards. So if so, take your wire cutters and snip around. And if you have any really big daddies sticking out like that, you'll probably have to go after those with an electric rotary tool. All right, now all of our elements are in place, it's time to assemble. First thing I'm going to do is take off this hex nut that comes with the clock movement put that aside and I'm gonna use a couple of washers these are zinc one and a quarter inch washers with a 5 16th inch hole which is the same diameter of our shaft remember I want to put those between the background and the movement just so that that three-dimensional stuff in the back doesn't interfere flip it over and now we just make a clock sandwich three more washers because I want some distance between the background and the clock face. Now the face itself. One more washer just to finish off the middle. Makes it look a little more polished in the center. Then we restore that hex nut. And that's going to hold everything together. Okay, get it as tight as you can with your fingers. And then line everything up 
and give it a couple turns with pliers. And last but not least, the hands. These sometimes are sold with the clock movement. They're also sold separately. There are different styles, like there's traditional versus contemporary, silver versus black. So to get those on, we remove this tiny little corrugated nut that's at the end of the shaft. Take the hour hand, which is the shorter hand, and you just press that down over that plastic part. Next, put the minute hand on. Then, put the nut back on. Well, that's it, y'all. All you have to do now is pop in a battery set the dial and hang this on a nail. So this is the wall version. If you wanna do the desk version like Joe's, here's how I did it. I just took an old photo frame that I wasn't using, it was an old cheapo brass one, cut the back off and glued it. Or, one more variation, what Joe from Geek Gear does is he takes these plastic frames from the office supply store and glues these to the back. Well that's it guys, I hope that you enjoyed it, that you'll be inspired to do your own spin-off and post it on our blog. And most of all, if you haven't checked out Reconstruct Eco-Friendly Crafts Made Easy yet, please check it out for 11 other original projects.